Here's another tip from EnglishAnyone.com about how to get fluent in English faster. To get fluent faster, read everything. Hello and welcome to another edition of How to Get Fluent in English Faster. Today we're talking about reading and our tip for today is read everything. Everything, everything, everything. Now, this tip doesn't mean that you should read every book, but it means that you should be looking around and look at the English in your environment. It's written everywhere. Reading is incredibly important because the people that read get fluent faster, and they can study by themselves. If you can't read and you don't have practice learning English words and seeing new words, then you won't have a lot of practice understanding how to say them, and then you won't be able to practice by themself, by, by yourself, uh, and you'll need a teacher more than you would if you know how to read. Now, when I say read everything, I mean looking at all the little English that's all over your environment, because it's everywhere if you just look for it. For example, here is a, a cup that I have. This is an America cup, an American flag cup, but it was made in Japan. And on the bottom of the cup, it says Sugar Land. And there's some other writing. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but it says produced by Ipansha and made in Japan. So this isn't important that you know this information, but the point is to look at this Sugar Land, produced by Ipansha, made in Japan. You want to get quick with reading English. You see it and immediately, ah, I'm connecting these sentences because the quicker you get at reading individual words, the quicker you get at reading phrases. And if you can read phrases quickly, you will remember them much faster. Another reason to look at English in regular places like this, like here is some more English on the, the inside of the cup. Uh, it says America right here. Another, another thing to study when you're looking at reading different English is different fonts. Now, just like on your computer program, you can choose the way the text is spelled. You can see some different examples of fonts right here. But this is uh, some, cre uh, some powdered cheese, and you can look at two different fonts right here. So there's Japanese on this container, but there's also English over here. So we've got great, uh, this is in cursive, and then we've got value down here, which is in script. So these are two different kinds of English writing. So you've got cursive and script writing, and again, being able to see all these different kinds of writing and understand them immediately is really important for learning English and building English fluency. And another example, this is a balloon that my wife and I received, and this is in kind of a, almost a cowboy script. So it says, here's to the happy couple. And these letters look really difficult if you don't see them and, they don't, and they're, they're not something that you practice. But the point is that you can take something like this and you can practice your English. So you practice reading different kinds of English and you practice it in different fonts. So look around your environment, you see street signs, or you look at the back of a package, or the instructions, or anything like that. You're learning all these little different things about learning English and you're improving your ability to remember words and learn phrases, and you're learning more about the culture because you're learning about how information is being presented. Well, I hope that's been an excellent tip for you, so go out and read everything. Street signs, books, anything else on the side of a bus, any kind of English you find, and challenge yourself to read it quickly, and you will get fluent in English faster. We'll see you next time with another tip. Have an excellent day. Get out and practice. Bye-bye. To learn more about our monthly Master English Conversation audio and video lessons, and to get fluent in English faster with our free newsletter and email video course for students, visit us at EnglishAnyone.com.